Hey guys, Eric and Chris here, providing you with a Rewind Theater trailer commentary for the Transformers Dark of the Moon Super Bowl spot. Lots to talk about, little to see, so let's get right into it. I'm going to scroll back to this shot right here. Chris, talk to us. Yeah, so you can see in the background, the city of Chicago is in ruin, and uh, these, these paratroopers are, are going in in little squirrel suits, and it's going to be a rescue operation. We have a piece on the site that talks about this. Yeah, check it out. It's a preview piece that Jim Vavita did for us. Now, the next shot I'm going to stop on right here, we've got an Autobot going up to against what we believe are two Decepticons. Yeah, and you got it's, it looks like Ironhide right here in the shot, and he's coming in from the left, and then uh, as you let it run, um, you'll see the transformation. And then y you can tell the two, the two dudes that were coming head-on look like Decepticons because they've got all the pointy sort of uh, Cybertron-looking bits to their to their character designs. Exactly, and I'm just going to stop here really, really quick just to check out this ship up above Bumblebee. It looks like some sort of, we're guessing it's a, it's a Decepticon, and it looks like it's in its Cybertron mode. Yeah, and it looks like a, some kind of mothership, and you'll see in the next shot. Um, Bam. There's a big Earth invasion going on, obviously, and, uh, and definitely the, the Autobots are, are in the mix trying to save humanity again. Yeah, I mean, these are clearly Decepticons just attacking the city of, of Chicago. You've got little Decepticons flying around, but check out, like, in the left, the big motherships. Kind of looks like a whale. It's kind of cool. <laughs> the bony whale. Exactly. Yeah. And then this thing looks like some kind of crazy, like, center... Um, you know, like bolus, and then it's got all these like hydra arms with lamprey eel tips, but it uh, looks like it can wreak some serious havoc on the streets. And then I'm theorizing that this character right here is Laserbeak, which is a, a, a bird-like Decepticon from Generation 1 in the cartoon series. Yeah, we toyed around with the idea that that might be a Dinobot, but we don't really think so. <laughs> I think that's wishful thinking. Let's go back to here, our Megan Fox replacement for the third film. Yeah, Shia's going blonde with his girlfriend this time. <laughs> this is uh, Rose Huntington Whiteley. She's a Victoria's Secret model, among other things, and uh, she gets the nod for Transformers 3. Yep, she plays Carly. And then I'm going to stop right here as well, because this is kind of another really cool kind of overlay shot. Uh, flying in is... Uh, Optimus Prime, who's wearing some sort of like jet pack that's allowing him to fly. Yeah, we think it's a jet pack as opposed to another Transformer, and you, you'll see it in a little more detail, um, you know, in other parts of the trailer. And then also in the shot, you see a couple other Autobots already arrived at the at the fight. Um, Bumblebee on the left, and then uh, looks like Mudflap in green. And then they're squaring off against about four Decepticons in this right. shot. And then I'm just gonna go in slow mo because this is a really cool like 300 style tracking shot of Optimus as he just wreaks havoc on these uh, Decepticons. Yeah, he's using this uh, laser sword, which we've seen before, but never to such amazing effect. So he basically... Uh, well, first he's got a big old cannon. Oh, that's on right, on left. the other arm. And then here on the right, you could see the sword is, is popping out. So yeah, he's 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 wreaking havoc on Decepticons. He stabs this guy. Bam! That's and then, awesome. And then as we scroll through, it looks like he slams him to the ground. The whole time he's doing the skating thing, which we've seen them do a lot in this movie, where he's like kind of sparking up the the asphalt. And then here you could see, check that out. See, he ditches the cannon. So now he's dropped that from his hand, and he's just got the laser sword, which pops out again and he just slices this Decepticon in half. Yeah, it's that awesome. thing is mega badass. And, uh, you know, for a first look at, at uh, Transformers 3, it looks pretty amazing. Yeah.